Long ago, life was better for the Wolf Clan. Our ancestors lived on a faraway island in peace and harmony. They took care of the land, and the land gave them everything they needed. Everything was simple and good. Until the storms came and drowned our paradise. Our ancestors' simple magic was powerless to stop the destruction. They knew only that they had to flee or perish. Using our clan's most sacred totem, the White Wolf Skull, our druidist order rescued us from death. The totem brought us here, to the lands of the Serpent Empire. Thankful for our salvation, we rebuilt our towns and our lives. Our new neighbors, the devious Serpent and cold-hearted Lotus, welcomed us as allies and promised us safety. Unfortunately, we trusted them. Everything seemed simple and good again. Until a new disaster broke over our people. A disaster of betrayal and fire. Lord Simon was able to make a deal with the treacherous Serpent Emperor and attacked us by surprise. So, the other way as the Lotus slaughtered our farmers and burned our homes. Like the rest of my brothers, I fought to save our clan, and I could not. The survivors of that battle have been slaves in the Lotus Shale Mines ever since. For seven years, we've worked and died to make the Lotus wealthy. The Lotus Slave Master, Mistress Yvain, rules our clan through fear. She believes we have lost the ability to dream of freedom. She is wrong. I am Greyback, last heir to the Wolf Clan's throne. For seven years, I've trained my fellow miners in the arts of war. Hammers, picks, and stones are our weapons. Those, and our unending anger. A third disaster is coming. A disaster for the murderers who dared to cross us. Soon, the Wolf Clan will rise again. I'm so hungry. Since Budo started ordering us around, I've hardly eaten a thing. What else would you expect from a greedy servant, Taskmaster? Still, I'm glad Yvain and her Lotus goons have stopped watching us so closely. The Lotus are our true enemies. Do you think Mistress Yvain is starting to trust us, Greyback? No, but she's stopped fearing us. Yvain seems to think that we've lost the strength to fight. Ah! Fighting's the easiest thing in the world! It's pretending to be weak that's driving me crazy. Be patient. The day of our rebellion is coming. Yeah, but what about our dinner? Quiet. I hear footsteps. Who let you lazy dogs into my mines? Get back to work! We can't work without food, Budo. I'm starving! Oh, so the dogs are finally hungry enough to wake up. You, with the pickaxe, head down the tunnel to your right. There's a pile of shale down there, just waiting to be broken up. 
Finish that task, return to me, and I'll give you both rice to share. That seems simple enough. The shale is broken. Where's our rice? Greedy, greedy. I'll send for it soon. Huh? Who's there? I bear a message from the great Mistress Yvain. Our mistress requires your assistance, Serpent Brother. Her kitchens have run out of rice, and this evening's feast draws near. Perhaps your workers could contribute their rations. Of course. Yvain slaves live only to obey her commands. As do we all. Farewell. What about my dinner? You'll have none. Yvain's desires are law on Lotus Ground. But laws alone won't keep us from starving. Neither will your endless whining. A shale pile to the southwest has been blocked by a cave-in. Take your friend with the hammer. He'll be able to break through that cave-in. Then break up the shale pile and hurry back. If you produce more shale, maybe I can talk the Lotus into giving you more rice. Now get to work, unless you're hungry for my whip. Impressive. <laughs> I expected that to take longer. It seems you're not so weak from hunger after all. A wolf's hunger gives him strength, not weakness. Where's our rice? Where it's safe, I keep my bargain, slave. Another messenger? What do you want? Silence! I bring you a warning from Mistress Yvain. The rice you sent to her feast was riddled with disgusting worms. Insult our mistress again, and those worms will feast on you. My apologies. How dare these slaves offer such horrid food to our mistress? Please, accept the last of my rice and my humble apologies. I'm afraid these filthy savages will eat anything. Lady Yvain will not. Watch yourself, Serpent Brother. What an unfortunate mistake you made, giving Yvain that rotten rice. You'll have to work twice as hard to earn your dinner now. I can't. I'm so hungry I'm about to fall over. Disobedience? I'm a dirty wolf cub. My whip might teach you some manners. Yvain won't be too happy if you beat her starving slaves to death. Disobedience and threats? Intolerable! Ew. Your friend gets 30 lashes for your loose tongue. Unless, perhaps, you're willing to make it up to me. Yvain has forbidden me from sending workers into the deep tunnels. She's hiding something down there, and I don't like secrets or surprises. Sneak down there, take a look for me, and I might forget to punish you. Now get moving before I change my mind. These tunnels are forbidden to everyone but Mistress Yvain. Budo ordered us to search these tunnels for new shale to mine. Lord Budo's orders mean nothing to me. Our mistress will hear about this. Yes. Done. Look at this, Greyback. It's amazing. I thought the skull of the White Wolf had been lost forever. What is it? It's the last remnant of a forgotten spirit, and the greatest treasure of our clan. The Skull Totem has incredible powers, especially over weather and nature. Long ago, our Druidist Order used its magic to bring our ancestors to these lands. 
What could Evane be planning to use this for? Unbelievable! More spies! It's Mistress Evane! Don't hurt us! Budo told us there was shale down here. We didn't touch your magic stuff, I promise! And the hairy one? What do you have to say for yourself? I'm just following Budo's orders. Is something wrong? Bah! I should kill you for your stupidity alone. Then again, if I killed every stupid wolf, I'd have these mines to myself. Do exactly as I say, and I might let you live. Welcome to the Deep Mines. You'll eat, sleep, and work here now. There's only one punishment for misbehavior down here. The Shale Spiders. They lay their eggs in living flesh, and they're always hungry for new friends. If that Shale isn't broken when I return, you'll meet them in person. This isn't an ordinary punishment, Greyback. She's probably just waiting for a chance to kill us quietly. We've got to warn the other miners that we've been captured. If we don't fight Evane now, we might not live to see another chance. Let's break this shale pile so that Evane doesn't become suspicious. We'll smuggle a warning to our allies afterwards. I have a bad feeling about this. It's a trap! I expected Evane to be more subtle than this. Obviously, she's no longer satisfied with simply working us to death. What are you doing down here? You... you've killed all of my lovely spiders! You heartless brute! Stop babbling. How many slaves are imprisoned down here? Ten. Enough to keep my babies fed for a month. You killed all my babies, and now you're going to kill me too. You're too pathetic to kill. Get out of here. Did you hear that? We've got to rescue all ten slaves before we escape. Right behind you, boss! must free our fellow prisoners and escape to the upper levels. The time to seize our freedom is now. Longtooth, I didn't expect to find you here. Yvain's had me locked in the stinking cell for days. A few more seconds, and I would have been torn to shreds. You're free now, and I need your help, old friend. It's time to show the Lotus what we're made of. Are you ready to fight by my side? You can count on me always, my lord. What's this? How dare you disobey my orders, slave? I am Greyback, leader of the Wolf Clan. Call me slave again, and you'll have death as your answer. And when I'm finished with you, you'll beg for death, little wolfling. Get your filthy hands off me! You'll pay for this treachery! We've beaten her, Lord. She's going to fetch her warriors. We must rally our comrades in the upper mines. Follow me! We've almost reached the main tunnels, Greyback. To bring the Lotus down, we'll need the strength of every last wolf clansman. We must break their chains before Evane's troops arrive. Watch out! 
I've seen that gas before. It seeps up from the rocks and can kill a man in seconds. What's worse, it's explosive. Yes, we'll need a pitch slinger to burn it away from a safe distance. I'm surprised there aren't any pitch slingers locked up nearby. What's behind this barrier? Strike that lever and we'll find out. Well, well. My little spies have turned into rebels. How precious. If these Lotus weaklings could manage their own slaves, I wouldn't be here. On your knees! Nobody defies Budo! Out of the way. Our business is with the Lotus. It's my job to keep you under control. Your business is with me. And the Serpent Army! Prince Taro sent a squadron of his elite enforcers to help keep the peace. Let's see whether a pack of hungry slaves can handle real warriors. Daylight. It's been so long. Too many of the Wolf Clan are still in chains. As long as they remain here, so must I. But there are other minds and other slaves. We'll need their help too. You must reach the other minds and rally them to war, Longtooth. I'll stay behind and free the others. But that's suicidal! You'll never beat Yvain by yourself. That's why you must spread word of our rebellion. We'll need all of the Wolf Clan's strength to win. And if we return to find you dead, then I'll die as a warrior. The other minds will be free before the Lotus know what hit them. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Fight like the wolf. I underestimated you, slave. You're not as stupid as you look. And you're as fat as ever. I didn't expect you to be Prince Taro's favorite thugs. He won't be happy about that. <laughs> Since you're not afraid of killing serpents, let's see if you enjoy killing your own people. Throw off your chains, brothers. Your clan is at war. I'm sorry, Greyback, but you'll never win against the Lotus. You offer us nothing but death, and Budo offered us food. Amazing what a few grains of rice can buy, isn't it? Budo, you swine! You'll pay for this. save you. Everyone, run for the exit! We can't let the Lotus trap us here! Still up to your games, dear. Uh, Greyback, isn't it? This is the first time I've ever bothered to remember one of your primitive names. You should be honored. Honor? From a Lotus? That would be a first. Enough! 
I have another honor in mind for you, troublesome wolfling. I had planned to simply feed your body to the spiders. But Greyback's corpse deserves a much more glorious tomb. You'll never leave this mine, slave. My clan will avenge me. Your clan will be frozen solid before you can even starve to death. What? Yvain! She's planning something. I must find another way out. I've never seen this part of the mine before. It's a hidden chivalry and some workers. Hail, Wolf Brothers! Greybacks come for us! Hooray! We heard fighting, but we couldn't open the gate. This is a wonderful discovery. I'll be able to forge armor with these tools. Excellent. With protection like this, I could take on the whole Lotus Army. But we'll need to find more food in order to forge more armor. The Lotus have a bunch of these rice bins stashed down here. Free us, and we'll bust them open for you. Ready to swing! I'm moving! Yes! Rayback, we thought you were dead! Not yet, but we have little time. Even now, Yvain must be gathering her forces to wipe us out. We're too few in number! There's no way we can fight off an army! Longtooth will bring reinforcements from the other shale mines. But how will he find us? We must reach the signal tower above us. If our pitch slinger climbs that tower, Longtooth will see his flames and head straight for us. No problem, boss. Be careful. We don't have any other way to light the signal fires. If you're killed by the Lotus, Longtooth will never reach us in time. Mistress Yvain said they would be. We can't let these fear-ridden rebels escape! Kill them all! The Pitch Slinger should climb this tower and signal to Longtooth. That flame should be visible for miles around. Any sign of our allies? Wait! There's someone approaching from the east. Yes! It's Longtooth! And there's a whole army of wolves behind him! Alright! Woohoo! Longtooth has great courage. I knew he wouldn't fail us. Can you see anything else? We must know what Yvain is planning. There's a small town in the southwest. I see slaves in the fields. And there's a great fortress in the southeast, blocking a pass to the mountains. That's where Yvain will be, and perhaps our sacred totem as well. First, we'll head southwest and free the slaves in the town. Lotus will seek revenge for our victories. Nobody must be left behind. Then we'll tear into that fortress and get some answers from Yvain. Hmm. Yeah. I can see the control lever from here, but only Longtooth could hit it from this distance.
Nice throw, old friend. Looks like there's some kind of commotion in the town. We've had enough of your excuses, slaves. If you can't harvest rice, then you'll harvest pain. Pain, huh? I could show you a thing or two about that. It's wild I kill him! Aye, it's good to see a friendly face around here. I haven't seen you in the mines, Wolf Brother. I'm a wolf, all right, but I've never been in those stinking mines. My allies in the forest kept me well hidden after the war. The Lotus destroyed my family and my home, but they couldn't catch Wild Eye. <laughs> I've been stalking and killing those devils ever since. You've been hunting the Lotus for all this time? Amazing. Will you fight with us? and help us restore the Wolf Clan's freedom. Are you kidding? I've waited seven years to hear those words. <laughs> then you're welcome at my side, friend Wild Eye. Together, we'll show Yvain the Wolf's vengeance. Now, Greyback, this is simply intolerable. I appreciate a good jest, but you really must die now. You're the one who's dying today, witch. Seven years ago, you murdered my mate and my cubs. But you wouldn't remember that, would you? Oh, I remember. I just don't care. Enough. Your evil ends here. Such a brave jester. You'll walk into any trap, won't you, Greyback? By the way, you're not going to find your clan's totem here. The skull of the White Wolf rests safely in my citadel. And my spells of corruption have already begun to warp its powers. Don't you feel the chill in the air, little Wolfling? No more riddles! What are you doing with the skull? I'd love to explain, but you won't live long enough to care. Death is the only freedom you'll ever find. Goodbye, Greyback. In all my years, I've never seen a blizzard like this. I don't mind a little snow, but this stuff is cold as death. The totem must be very powerful to create such a storm. What is it anyway? It is the skull of the White Wolf, a relic of our clan's guardian spirit. Until our war against the Lotus, it was our greatest treasure. Only Gala and her druidess order knew how to harness its powers. If they were alive, maybe they could tell us how to stop the totem. But they died in the final battle. <laughs> You're not the first to think so. Not everyone who disappeared in that battle was lost, Greyback. Gala is alive, and her druidess is too. How can that be? The Woodswalkers have ways of hiding from their enemies. They're still living in the old swamps, waiting for us to return. Do you think Gala could help us, Wild Eye? She knows more of the ancient ways than any living wolf. If Gala can't figure out how to stop this nasty weather, nobody can. Then we must find her. Gather the troops. We're leaving at once. Cold. <laughs> uh. 
Another brave man has fallen. I hope he finds freedom. If Gale can't stop this storm, we'll join him soon enough. You're right. We'd better keep moving. What? Gala's sanctuary is frozen over! But Gala's magic has always protected her lands from the winter! Help! Please! Somebody save us! What's going on here? Hi, Druidess Gala has been kidnapped, and the forest temple is under attack! We're too late! How could the Lotus have beaten us here? The Lotus aren't attacking us. Utara and her witches are behind this. The Serpent Witches are famous practitioners of black magic. I'm not surprised they're doing Yvain's dirty work. Sometimes they raid our forests, looking for valuable herbs and spell components. But they've never attacked us so savagely before. We drove back their first assault, but Gala disappeared in the confusion. If they succeed in destroying the Forest Temple, all will be lost. We'll defeat these murderous witches and rescue Gala. My, you're a big, strong one, aren't you? I never knew dirt could be such a fashionable accessory. You must be Utara. And you must be the new wolf chieftain that Yvain's so angry about. She hates you as much as I hate that prissy little Gala. I'll kill anyone for enough gold. <laughs> That's why Yvain and I get along so well. <laughs> I can't believe she demanded Gala alive. I had to double my usual fee. Gala's still alive? Where are you keeping her? Where you'll never, ever, ever find her. You know, Yvain offered to double my fee again if I brought back Greyback's severed head. It's time for you and I to play rough. I like a man who isn't afraid to beat up a lady. Ha! Some lady! I'll ask you one more time. Where is Gala imprisoned? If you help us find her, I'll let you go. Help you? <laughs> That's a laugh. If you don't kill me now, it'll be the last mistake you make. Kill you? We thought we'd turn you over to the Dryads. They're sure they can talk you into changing your evil ways. <laughs> and they're willing to spend a long, long time doing it. Ugh, what a boring fate. If you want Gala, you can find what's left of her in Lord Saban's laboratory. I bet Saban is already cutting her open to see how she works. Ugh, cutting her open! She'll probably end up as one of his abominations. <laughs> that would be delightful. You disgust me. Get out of my sight. We'll play together again, Greyback. And next time, I'll be playing for keys. Wild Eye, can you find this laboratory? My wolves can find anything. Let's go! I wonder what Utara meant by abominations. What? I didn't understand a word of that. He's saying the same thing my wolves tell me. The Gala's trail ends here. Do you think she's been murdered? No. The wolves would smell her blood. Then we've got to keep searching. I'll head this way. You two keep scouting in the other direction.
Someone's coming through the woods. Huh? Where did this wolf clansman come from? Please don't take me back to the cage! We're taking you back, but not alive. Your mind is disobedient, but your flesh will serve us well. Now you understand, slave. Something terrible is happening here. I'd better stalk these two and see if they lead me to Gala. There's nothing here! But are they mad? Unbelievable! The Lotus have built themselves an invisible town! I'll bit my mustache that Gale is down there somewhere. <laughs> right. What if this place disappears again? I bet that magic tower is what makes this town invisible. Then we could destroy it before the Lotus can use it again. Good idea! <laughs> if we roll boulders onto their buildings, they'll panic for sure! That'll buy enough time for Greyback to hear the commotion and find us. He'll know what to do. <laughs> What's wrong? Gah, we've been surrounded by more of those disgusting monsters! We can't let them stop us. It's time to roll some rocks! Our prey went this way. <laughs> what in the world is that thing? It's monstrous! Beasts, do you know what you've done? You've wrecked research that cost us hundreds of able-bodied slaves. Next, you'll be trying to steal that Gala woman from me. I've never had the chance to take apart one of the Woods Walkers. Evane is quite eager to find out how she works. Destroy them, my golems! Oh, what a way to go! Ripped apart by a pack of midgets, eh? <laughs> Need a hand, Wild Eye? Sorry to keep you waiting. You weren't going to run from those things, were you? Of course not! Let's rescue Gala! Lady Gala, are you alright? I will be. Thank you for rescuing me. You have come to ask for my help against Evane. You are courageous and strong. I will do what I can. Let's get to a safer place. We have much to discuss. Soban called him the Shell Lord. He doesn't speak often. I believe he used to be a wolf slave. Yes, but can we trust what he's become? All things are part of the natural order, even this strange being. <laughs> he fights like a behemoth! I say, we're lucky he's on our side! <laughs> what do you think, Greyback? Any enemy of the Lotus is welcome in my camp. 
The Shale Lord fights with us. Gala, the weather is getting worse. Can you help us stop Yvain's winter? No, I could not even protect my own sanctuary. As long as Yvain is using our own clan's magic, I am powerless. Then I'll take the skull of the White Wolf from her. Yvain will expect me. I won't ask any of you to follow me into her traps. You will need my help to keep Yvain from freezing the land to death. I can lead you to her mountain fortress. I have seen the way in my dreams. That black-hearted sorceress still owes me a debt of blood. I'm coming! Why would any of us abandon you now, Lord Greyback? You don't have to call me that. But you are the Lord of the Wolves. Gala's right. We're your pack. And we'll fight by your side until the end. Thank you, my friends. I'm so cold. Maybe we should rest here. The lakeshore is just a little farther. Wild Eyes meeting us there. This snow is killing me, Greyback. I know. Lady Kayla, you look terrible. Greyback, what's wrong with her? Yvain's blizzard is killing the land. As the land dies, so does Gala. Have you found any shelter nearby? There is an abandoned monastery, but I have a bad feeling about that. It is completely deserted. There is not a soul in sight, but the gardens are well tended. In other words, it's a trap. Yeah, and it's also the only shelter for miles around. We don't have much of a choice. Let's check it out. Wild Eye, take Gila around the south side of the lake where it's safer. I'll scout out the main road and meet you at the monastery. Follow me, my lady. We're almost to safety. Still wandering around in the cold, Greyback? You should let me warm you up. So you're behind this silly ambush. Ambush? I don't know what you're talking about. My friends and I just want to throw you a party. A celebration of Lord Greyback and his amazing victory. What happened to the monks who lived here? Oh, they're all locked up. It seemed a waste to kill such promising slaves. You won't be so lucky. Gala is resting in the monastery. The monks have promised to heal it. But this odd fellow won't leave me alone. So the trappers were trapped and the murderers slain. Congratulations, Greyback, on a battle well fought. Who are you? You're not dressed like a monk. My name is Tao. I am both monk and ninja, half light, half darkness. I serve yin and yang, and the balance of all things. At the moment, the yin of the lotus is very strong. It threatens the land itself. By protecting this monastery, I strengthen the yang and serve the balance. But you couldn't even protect the monks from Utara's mercenaries. The monks were not harmed, and Greyback's heroes arrived safely. I think I protected them very well. And I think you're completely mad! Correction, only half mad. Tao, will you help us destroy Yvain? Yvain owes her blood to the Lord of the Wolves. It is not mine to spill. But I am a master of roads and journeys, and I can help you reach your goal. Listen closely, and I will give you the secrets you need. 
the road to Evane is blocked by two magical gateways. These are maintained by a pair of rival archmages, Issel and Kirill. Issel and Kirill despise each other. They never cooperate on anything. If you defeat them both quickly, you'll slip right through their gates. But beware. If you kill only Issel, then Kirill will take control of his armies. Likewise, Issel would be quick to take advantage of Kirill's demise. Either way, if you let them combine their forces, you're in for a tough fight. Now I must depart. The balance calls me to other lands. Fight well, Greyback. We both have unfinished duties in this world. We've opened the gates. Rally to me, wolves! I see that Budo and Utara spoke the truth. The Wolf Clan is running rampant across the land. I am Prince Taro, heir to the Serpent Throne. My father sent me to restore order and end this winter. Your savage witchcraft is starving our peasants. Our witchcraft? Hey, this is Evane's work, you dunce! Don't try to confuse me with your silly lies. Taro, this blizzard is Evane's sorcery. We're also here to stop it. You will address me by my proper title. How dare you attempt to turn me against my friends? I'm warning you, leave now or face my wrath. He's a pompous brat, but we shouldn't kill him. His father is too powerful. I bet that pansy would run screaming from a real fight. Let's tear down his royal academies. He won't be so tough without his bodyguards. The academies will be lightly defended as long as we steer clear of Taro's main forces. If we destroy all three academies, <laughs> Taro will know we mean business. I suppose there's no other way around the fool. When we've dealt with his guardians, the prince will listen more carefully. You filthy bandits! You've slain my bodyguards! Don't touch me! My father will avenge my death. You're not dead yet. Go home to your father. Tell him the Wolf Clan didn't cause this blizzard. I'll not tell your lies to Lord Oja. My failure will be punished harshly enough. Are you stupid? Look at us! We're freezing out here! Do you really think dirty savages like us know such powerful spells? Aye, we're not magicians! We're miners, you dolt! Hmm, you may have a point. Hmm, you are rather dirty. Let me put it this way. If I wanted war with the Serpent Empire, I'd kill you now. All I want is to settle our business with Evane before we all freeze to death. Why not let us pass and tell your father that you stopped the blizzard yourself? And if Mistress Evane kills you all? Then you can tell Lord Oja that you slew the evil wolf rebels single-handedly. Oh, so quick-witted. You remind me of my brother. Very well. The Prince of the Serpent Empire allows you to pass. Enjoy your destruction, slaves. <laughs> if your brother has any wits at all, he'll outlive you, little prince. Let's finish this. Looks like the end of the road. By all the gods, it's cold. 
I can't even feel my mustache! I'm sure Yvain knows that we've beaten Isil, Kuril, and Taro. She'll be gathering her powers for the final battle. Either Yvain or the Lord of the Wolves must die today. Looks like she set up plenty of those magic walls to slow us down. They'll fall when her towns are destroyed. She can't power them alone. Not if she intends to keep up this storm as well. What happens when we reach Yvain? Do we just kill her? She wields the powers of a god. I don't think it'll be that easy. Even gods can die. Come on, we have work to do. You're sure they made it this far? I thought our army would stop the wolves below. That weak-hearted Prince Taro allowed them to pass. Sometimes I think he's more a woman than I am. This rebellion threatens everything that the Serpent Clan has become. If Taro won't kill Greyback, I'll do it myself! Even if it means disobeying Lord Oja's firstborn son? Oja can feed me to his house as long as Greyback dies beneath my whip. Mm-hmm. You and I enjoy the same hobbies, Buddha. We could play delightful games together, if you weren't so revolting. Save it for Greyback, my charming murderess. <laughs> right now, it's time for us to trap a wolf. I thought I was finished with filthy lotus-smelling caves. You are. I'm going down there alone. Are you insane? We are not leaving you now! I don't know if we can beat Yvain. Not when she's using that totem. If I can win this fight, I will. If I am fated to die, you two must survive to rule the wolves. Us? Rulers? <laughs> you are insane! Between your instincts and Longtooth's wits, I'm sure our clan will survive. You want me to share a throne with this maniac? You'd better come back alive, Greyback. I'll try. All right, Yvain. Where are you hiding? The enslavement, the war, the winter. All of your evils are about to end. It's been a long battle, hasn't it, Greyback? So much killing. I think your wolf clan was safer in my minds. Safety isn't freedom. What about death? Is that what you call freedom? What happened to you? Your totem was more powerful than I expected. It has changed me as much as I've changed it. I have been reborn, Greyback. Reborn as a goddess! The White Wolf's skull has destroyed your mind, Yvain. Killing you will be an act of mercy. Yes, I am mad now. But madness isn't my only source of power. All the magic of the Wolf Clan is bound to me by these orbs of corruption. You'll never defeat me while I wield the power of the White Wolf. I'm telling you, Greyback's in trouble. We've got to go after him. No. 
But he can't do this alone. He needs us. Kayla is right, my friend. We must not dishonor Greyback's last orders. They don't have to be his last orders. I'm not waiting any longer. I guess he didn't need us after all. <laughs> Look it! The snow is stopping! <laughs> I can feel the natural balance returning. Yvain is gone. So is our leader. I should have gone after him. What, and disobey my orders? You still have a lot to learn, my friend. He's alive! Brayback is alive! I knew you'd make it, Lord! Thank you for believing in me. Wh what was that blast? We thought you were a goner! When Yvain died, she unleashed the full power of the White Wolf's skull. I thought the explosion would destroy us both, but I didn't feel any pain at all. Yvain and the Corrupted Totem are nothing but ashes now. The White Wolf himself must have protected you. It was not my destiny to die today. This is a great victory, but we will face new challenges someday. Yvain was Lord Zymoth's mistress. Someday they might have ruled the clan together. I'm sure Zymoth will try to avenge her death. When he does, the wolves will be ready for him. Ha! <laughs> he won't try soon. We must have slain half his army on this mountain. And the other half can wait until spring! All hail Lord Greyback! All hail the Lord of the Wolves! <laughs> <laughs>